So while the structures are building, I'm going to go ahead and do some refactoring. Refactoring is when you change the layout and the structure of your code to be more efficient or easier to work with. So one of the issues you probably already noticed with this is it's becoming a little harder to work with this code and add on to it. There's just too much going on. So what we want to do is start separating these um, bits of code into um, similar uh, sort of buckets. So one, one thing I'm going to do here is actually move all of the code that has to do with rooms into its own file. So I'm going to create a new um, file in here called rooms.js and that's going to be module exports rooms and it's going to have a function called rooms and it's going to take a um, parameter actually it's not going to take a parameter it's going to just be sort of a copy of this main logic, but how we're going to do it is for each game.room, we're going to use this as sort of a base because this is global, which means it's accessible from any of the files. Let's find the end of this. Ends right there. All right. We're going to copy this whole thing over to rooms and paste it in. The next thing we could do is I'd like to move defense into there. So let's copy this guy and we'll put it into rooms. I'm going to go ahead and save those two. And in here, we're going to call that um, room logic. So var rooms equals require. Logger get bodies not defined. Okay, so yeah, we gotta move this function as well. But I want to do a couple more things here. Uh, let's rename room defense as rooms dot defense. So all these will be sort of grouped together. And let's keep the uh, naming structure consistent and then we're going to create another file called rooms.defense.js oh rooms.spawning interesting so that came after, but this came before. At least they're grouped. So in spawning, we're going to create function spawning. And this is actually going to take a parameter room. And um, then down here, we're going to do module exports equals spawning. So now in here we can do sort of a copy of that. Room dot defense, and we'll do rooms dot spawning. I'm going to change this to. That's okay. So for each game dot rooms function room. We're going to do two things. We're going to do spawning, and we're going to pass it this room, and then we're also going to do room defense. And we're going to pass it room as well. Let's see if that works. Yep, that should be working. And we'll, we'll go ahead and test that in a second. 
I first want to copy over the spawning logic. This guy actually needs to be, we want to do a little test to make sure that the room ha is valid and has a controller before we run these two code blocks on it. And then over here, this is spawning logic up to uh, this point. We're going to move all this spawning logic into spawning. And we're going to pull this guy in. You can do shift tab to preserve the sort of function, the layout here. Going over back, defense is fine. Rooms is looking a little bit better. Save that guy. And then we need to also pull the get body function, and that's needed in um, the spawning logic. Let's clear this console. It looks like we're running normally again. One more error you've probably been seeing throughout the series is this creep doesn't exist yet. So this occurs when the creep's been deleted from the game because it's ran out of ticks to live. Um, but we're attempting to run it. So let's go ahead and fix that guy. And this little uh, pop-up, I'm going to leave it just in case you want to do something with it later. Um, but it's not by any means necessary. It just displays a little visual of what type of creep spawning. Uh, going back over to main, let's clean this guy up a little bit more. Um, and let's add in a new thing. Creep. If the creep is real, then we run this. So if, if creep is undefined, this object, don't run it, and that should remove the error with um, this. This creep doesn't exist yet. So it looks like it's running all right, and we've managed to sort of isolate these into different function uh, files that are a little easier to work with. There's still some cleaning up we can probably do with this. This is very repetitive. Um, in the next video, after I've thought about it a little bit, we'll refactor this um, because, as you can see, this code right here is basically identical to this and this block. So when you have very repetitive looking code, you know that's something you either need to move into its own you know, more generic function or isolate to its own class. You don't want to have uh, be repeating yourself a bunch of times in your code. Um, it's just bad practice. So for now, um, I think we're good. One other thing we might do in the future is move over this um, the creep um, logic and the roll logic and sort of like maintain this isolated structure for each role. But that will be a future project. So if you have questions about refactoring or um, parts of this didn't make sense, leave a comment down below so I can uh, create a follow-up video or an try to answer your question. Uh, but hopefully uh, this will make future additions a little easier to add to the code base. And we'll probably do a, a quick refactoring video uh, every once in a while to sort of clean up the code we've been writing and make it a little more readable. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.